suspicious person behind the Hardy Taco at Postal 412. She's sitting on the parking lot. I think that's Mirror, isn't it? Yeah, that's over Mirror Park. We'll take that, I guess. Yeah. Metro 535, I'll be en route to the latest 911 call. Metro 312, same traffic. Alright guys, so, as you guys just saw, we're en route to a 911 call, suspicious person behind one of the establishments in um, Mirror Park, so we're en route that way. I apologise if I sound a little weird, I've got a bit of a head cold and pretty sore ear. So my hearing's not the best either, so that'll be interesting. 207, we're going to need a 1070 to 133. Uh, it's only a suspicious person. They could be literally just hanging there. We're not really going to rush over there and meet, like, emergently. Just get through that light and then you're going to stop, which is fine. We'll go around. We want to get there, cause, you know, we want to get there, but we don't want to get there. You know, it's not a huge emergency, but you don't want to be really, really late or slow in case there's something kind of critical going on as well. Could be a drug deal happening, but then you don't want to spook them either. Metro 535, 1097 in the area. Uh, we might continue, actually, because... Just here somewhere, 412. I hear things breaking. So we'll just park here. We'll lock our car. security cameras out here which is good suspicious person in a dark alley like this concerning a little bit Three one two from five thirty five. Go for three one two. Twenty. I'm ten ninety seven. Copy. There's a bicycle. Look like a Santa guy going westbound on. Actually, correction. He's going to be on Mirror Park Drive, coming back towards the LTD. I just saw him leaving. I don't know if it's related. I don't see anything from behind here though. And five thirty five from two seven. Go. Yeah, we had a our 1050 earlier up on Mirror Place. Uh, that Santa guy was driving by and was tossing snowballs at 444's vehicle. Copy. Five thirty five three one two. I got a female down behind the building. If you want to head this way, ma'am, you okay? Is that you, Juliana? No. No. Who, who are you, ma'am? Katie. Katie, you just look like a girl I met the other week. You okay? Yep. What are you doing hanging out here? 535 from 212. I have that fan on a bicycle. Just give me a second. Just, just, just give you. me a second. Uh, yeah, I don't know if he's related or anything. Um, I'm down the back with a female on a bicycle. He's hitting my cruiser with snowball. Coming. Did you call 911, ma'am? No. No? Okay. Any reason you're just hanging out the back here? Just sitting, thanking. Just sitting here thanking. Was this fence knocked over when you came over here? 
Um, yeah. I don't even see you. I just see that open gap. But yeah, that was open prior. Alright, you said your name uh, was Katie? The back the part? Was to, yeah. What's your last name, Katie? Davis. Katie Davis, okay. Just hang out here for a sec. Metro 444 or 217 are going to be 1098 off of that uh, vanilla unicorn call. We'll be 1051 to back. Uh, suspicious person behind the early Tago. She seen. Th well, I mean, it's not that suspicious. So you just sitting here having a think. That's all that's going on. All right. Well, we had a number one call, man, from one of the owners here. They just said there was a suspicious person hanging out behind the shop. I don't really have an issue with you sitting here, but um, I am just going to ask you just to move it. Just move along. Go and find somewhere else. A bit more, maybe lighted or something. You know what I mean? I'm sorry to bother you. Like I said, I don't really have an issue with you sitting here, but, you know, that's other people do. That's fine. You sure everything's okay? Yep. Alright. Well, here's my card. I'm Lieutenant Henry with the LSPD. If you ever, you know, need a talk or something, you can contact me. Okay. Alright, man. You have a good one. Just be safe. Utah. Utah. Metro 5. Metro 5.35, I'll be back tonight. I don't know why they're responding with lights and sirens. We, I didn't even ask for backup. Listen to them all come in here. I, I don't know why. But, um, yeah, we're going to be 10-8, guys. They've literally wasted their time coming over here. <laughs> That's their problem, not mine. I didn't ask for backup. Neither did Brandon, so... They wasted their time. <laughs> That's on them. Metro 207, But, yeah, we'll be 10-8. We'll get back to our car. We're probably going to go back over towards the Rockford area. I'm not too fussed. Over here, there's plenty of cops, as you can hear and see. Yeah, pretty simple call. She she wasn't doing anything wrong. I mean, we can quickly check her name, but she just seemed like a kid. Yeah, born in 2004, so she's 15. Just a kid. You know, may have had an argument at home. You know, an argument with a friend or something. Just needed some air. You know, a bit of space. Nothing wrong with that. So, we decided to move on, and she is all good. But, yeah, guys, we're 10-8, so let's go back and do it. New message. Some lady at a, at the very end of the pier has a rope around her. Oh, great. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, we better get going. Metro 535, show me en route to a possible suicide attempt at the pier. 312, same traffic. Shit, unlock my car. That's not good. Seatbelt. Alright, possible suicide, guys. Not a good thing. So we're trying to get there as quick as we can. Oh, 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 oh! And why am I having huge lag, Spike? That's not nice. That was interesting. Oh. That made defensive driving difficult. And I'm still kind of getting the stutter, which is weird. Getting a bit of a star. I think it's because I'm getting near the Clapham Bell or whatever it is over here. It causes me issues, it does. Yeah, 
Yeah, burger shop, sorry. That's what normally causes me a bit of grief. See as we're getting a bit closer there. I don't know what the lag was back there on Adam's apple though. Oof, that was bad. Metro 535 in the area. Metro 312, same traffic. Looks like Brandon's on scene. Okay. Dumb bitch. We'll park up here a bit just in case. Seatbelt. Looks like we're not really in a hurry, but we are. At the end of the pier. She's on my side. Katie. Oh, wrong button. Katie, it's Shannon. Can you hear me? Mm. Now, I've got a bad ear, okay? I didn't tell you this earlier, so you're going to have to kind of speak up a little bit for me, okay? But I'm here to help, okay? What the what? Well, what's this rope that's over here? Was that now? What what are you doing over there? Better make sure there is a rope before I continue with that. Katie, what, what's the rope that's down near your feet for? Nothing. Can I, can I, ca can I come over there? Whatever. What was that? Whatever. No, that doesn't work. You want to tell me what's going on? What do you think? I, I don't know, I'm not a mind reader, Katie. I'm just I'm just trying to help you, okay? Why don't you tell me a little bit about what's going on? Uh, simple terms or no. That's up to you. You can tell me all about what's going on if you want. I've got time to listen. You've got time to listen, Officer Mitchell? Always got time to See? listen. See? We've all got time. <sighs> Just tired of being around right now. Tired of being around the around Earth, on this planet, in this world. All three. Okay. You want to tell me why you feel like that? Nothing's going right recently. What was that? Sorry? I've only been out of the hospital now for like... Just nothing's going right. It's only been like three weeks or so since I got out of the hospital for being stabbed. Like, and nothing's been going right. Ever since. How old are you, Katie? Already failing school again, which isn't really all that new. But no one really cares. We care. And it's just it is what it is, I guess. How old are you, Katie? 
Mm -hmm. How old are you? 16. 16. You're 16 years old. You still got your whole life in front of you and you want to you want to quit now? You want to jump off the pier? I mean, I, I wouldn't say that's just straight jump, but that's just in my mind. Yeah, but put yourself in my position real quick. What would you do in that situation then? Well, are, are you saying that you want to jump or ki you know kill yourself because you were stabbed or is there more to it? Like I said, nothing's going right ever since that friggin' night. I already lost contact with everyone I used to talk to prior to that. But so I can't really speak to people about it. So, like you said though, Katie, it's been three weeks, things take time to heal, and yeah, school isn't going very well right now, but you know, it, it can get better, you just gotta give it some time. How much time? That's... Do you want to know something, Katie? What? I've been shot. I've been kind of where you are, wanting my life to end because, you know, I was in so much pain and nothing was going right, and it, it's horrible. But there's people out there, and you learn, you learn that after a while, that there's people out there and all they want to do is help you. I nearly did die, and it's it's the easier route. It's not something that you want to, you know. There's so much more out there than dying. You just gotta. It's just gonna take some time, and you gotta grab it with both hands when the opportunity comes. If it comes. Well, it doesn't come easily, but that that's that's life. You just gotta stick it out. And it's it's horrible right now, and I, I get that, but I I can tell you right now, if you can stick it out, it's gonna get better. It might not get better tomorrow or next week, but you gotta give it some time. Yeah, and what if it hits fan again? Then we're back in the same spot. Then we're here to talk. There's there's other people here to talk. You know, there's counselling and. You know, in another few weeks, you might meet some new people, some new friends. It, it's life. It takes time, but you can do it. You just, you just have to step back from the ledge. It's, it's your life. So if you want to if you want to stand here for five minutes, an hour, five hours, then we'll stand here for that long, okay? But but what you what you're thinking of doing isn't the answer, okay? It's not it's not going to make things better. I, just, I really don't know what to do. Step, step back from the ledge, and let and let us help you. That's all you have to do, okay? See, that's all you had to do, Katie. That's that's the first, the first right step, okay? Now we're gonna walk up to my car and we're gonna have a little chat, okay? Hey. Alright, let's walk. Up this way, Katie. 535 Metro. Hey. Uh, we're 10-4. Never call me back the next day! You, you wanna bring your bicycle with us, Katie? At this point, all right. I don't know how.
So you have no family or anything that can be contacted? Um, last time I knew they were home, but not really one with the phone line because, yeah, phone line's kind of disconnected. Okay, but you, you have parents, you know, you have a mum and a dad? Alright, just, just stop here. Let's just put that shit around you, it's pretty cold. Alright, so do, have you, you know your mum and dad's phone number? They got a mobile phone or anything, or is that disconnected as well? I don't know if the numbers are disconnected or not. Okay. So let's, you wanna try and ring them? can try. Alright. What do you want me to try and ring them? It's probably better if I ring them. If you want to. Alright. Um. You wanna just... If I give you this notepad, just write their numbers down on here, okay? Hey, what? I'm giving you my notepad, just write down their phone numbers on there and I'll ring them. Interesting roleplay, guys. It's different. I hope she's writing down the numbers. Here. Alright, thanks. You're just gonna hang out with this officer, okay? This is Officer Mitchell, and, you know, I trust him. He helped me get through a difficult time, so just hang out with him, okay? Six four six space. What was that? I wish you could type it in with your um, numpad or something. That would be nice. Oh, it's Nile. Oh goodness. Hello. Hello, Lieutenant Henry with the LSPD. Who am I speaking to? Please. Hi, I've got a um also from the LSPD. Right, okay. Um you know a Katie Davis? Yeah, I'm looking after her for a few days for the week. Right, okay, so I'm down here at the pier at postal six one two and she's um she was attempting to commit suicide, so do you wanna head down here? Uh, yeah. Um, she is okay. Yeah, I'm, um, I'm with her now, but she's she's gonna need some help. Yeah, I'll head down now. All right, thanks. Yeah, no problem. Um, who's who's your guardian or your dad, Katie? Tom Donald is who my actual father is, but not with him right now. Okay, so who are, who are you currently living with as a guardian? Well, right now, just for a few days, I'm 
come on down here is with uh, Juliana's father. Okay, and what's her father's name? Uh, I just know him as Nile. Okay, that's all I need to know. Um, what's he doing for work? Hey, you want to bring your car up here, and I'll get Kate just to sit in the back. I don't want to put her in the back of mine, because I've got a pretty uncomfortable cage. Yeah, yeah. Katie, what does Niall do for work? I think he's a police officer, I okay. think. That's what she was telling me at school. Okay. No, I just want to make sure I was talking to the right okay. person on the phone. That was... And you were saying you've been stabbed before? Hmm? You said you were stabbed before? Hey, How does someone at 16 get stabbed? I was going over to Juliana's mother's house to spend the day for her. Um, to say she didn't like my presence that day. Wow. Mm. Juliana wasn't even there, so I'm pretty sure that was just a setup. It's pretty... At least that's what the officers may sound like. Well, Katie, it's it's very sad that you were stabbed, and I mean, it's very rare thing to kind of happen, especially at your age, and, you know, it's a very traumatic thing, but it'll get better. Like I said, you just got to give us some time, okay? We're all here to help you. You know, Officer Plays is here to help you. Juliana's here to help you. I hope. I mean, if she's a decent friend, she's here to help you, right? She's... Yeah, she's got a lot going on her own plate. Pretty sure she's keeping that quiet from her dad. Right. Well, I really want to blame her. I mean, it's kind of intimidating having to tell a police officer everything up silly, you know. It is. All right, let's come over here, Katie. Now, technically, I probably should have put you in cuffs, but you know, I don't really want to do that. But you are going to sit in the back of this police car, okay? And just until Niall gets here, okay? And it's going to be a lot warmer. Mm. So if you just want to hop in. Can you just wind down the window, Mitch? Oof, there we go. Just hang out here, Cody. Okay. Um, probably gonna have to contact DCS again if she's in care with this officer plays guy. Um, she's also probably gonna need to go down to the hospital, need a psych evaluation. She's gonna need clearance from a doctor. Yeah talk to somebody before they let her out. Yeah. Yeah, she's gonna need to. Yeah, exactly. I I didn't know. I thought she was gonna jump there for a moment. Yeah, that wouldn't have been good. No. Did you leave your hat in the car? No, I don't think so, but I'll make sure to adjust that. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Getting stabbed at 16 or 15, like, that's horrible. Yeah, that... That'll do something to you. Yeah, I think we'll drive over the car park. I saw some cars heading there. One of them might be this officer. Yeah. That's why your mother's... Wow, that guy needs to calm down a little. Hey, Katie, we're just going to head over to the parking lot to wait, okay? Yeah, guys, I only have one cage, so I... I mean, I could have put her in the passenger seat, but... She may have jumped out. I didn't want to restrain her and scare her even more. Um, so... The back of Brandon's car is 
the safer spot. I literally only have that one cage right there. Because I've got a duffel bag and that on my actual back seat, so... That's why she's with Brandon right now. You, sir? Uh, yeah, it's, I'm Niall. You called me. Oh, just come over here. Ah, uh, yeah, I'm Lieutenant Henry. This is Officer Mitchell. So, um, Katie is in the back of the Vic at the moment. Um, I am going to have to contact DCS about this because obviously she's 15, 16. Um, she was trying to commit suicide. Um, we've had about two or three calls with her already today. Um, we just thought she was, you know, trying to get some headspace or, or maybe more than the death of somebody, but it's turned out to be something a bit more. Um, she's also going to need to go down to the hospital, be checked out, psych evaluation, and she will most likely have to talk to some type of psychologist or therapist. Yeah, okay. Um, so she's currently living with you. Well, she's staying at mine for the week. Um, I've actually dealt with her before while on duty. Right, so you met her through work and, first? Uh, I've... No, I knew her before work. Right. And she's friends with your daughter? Yeah, she's friends with Juliana. Right. Seem very young to have children. Uh, I adopted Juliana. Oh, okay. Um, was you aware that she was suicidal or anything like that? No, I had no idea. You didn't know she was going through anything? I know she's, uh... Well, I know she's been, like, abused in the past. But abused I, I in what way? By her her actual parents? Or? Abused by... I think it was her actual parents, yeah. Right, yeah. No, the more I can give in this report and to the, for an evaluation and all that, the better. Um, you, are you aware of any recent things that have happened to her or anything like that? Uh, she got stabbed not that long ago by someone. Uh, she was in pretty critical condition for a while, but... Yeah, um... I don't know about anything else other than that. You haven't had any phone calls from the school or anything about her schoolwork or anything like that? No, she's not been back to school since she got stabbed. Oh, I may have misheard. I got a bad ear, but I thought she said something about her grades have been slipping ever since she was stabbed and school hasn't been going very well and she's lost contact yeah, with that'd friends. Yeah, be... That she had grades would probably be slipping because she hasn't actually been back yet. Yeah, like I said, I got a bad ear, so it may have been that. You're right. Um, you said she's staying with you for a week, so you're not actually her guardian, or what's happening there? No, she's just staying with me because she's friends with my with Juliana, so I'm letting them. Kind of, because they haven't seen each other in a few months, I'm kind of letting them spend time with each was other. Was that a DCS placement, or how did that happen? Because she's un she's technically 16, so she should be with DCS. I don't believe she's with DCS, to be honest. So is she a runaway, or what's happening there with them? Because if she, if you're not her guardian and DCS hasn't put her into your care, then I can't let you take her. We'll have to take her to the hospital ourselves. Oh yeah, you guys can take her. I, I really don't mind. I just want what's best for her. Well, we'll have to, but 
I mean, I can't. They can't release her into your care if you're not actually her guardian. Yeah, I know. Right. I'll ring DCS anyway. Um, and once we get to the hospital, we'll get them to meet us there. Okay. Um, thanks for the background. Um, I appreciate you coming down here and filling in some blanks. Yeah, no problem. If you have any more questions, then just, just call me. Yeah, will do. Thank you. Yep. Officer. Um, you want to give DCS a call and have a meet down at the hospital? Yeah. I'm just trying to think, we might just go to Mount Zona, it's pretty close here. Yeah, it should be just down the street. That guy over there with the brown hair is a little sketchy. You wanna, did you want to give her a ride? Because, you know, yeah. you two seem like you've connected and that might be a good idea. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I just, I don't want to put her in the cage because I've only got one cage, so she'll have to ride up front, but I'll have to quick, quickly search her. Yeah. Alright, let's, I'll go and grab her. Just watch this car here, I don't know, they just a little creepy. Yeah. Um, Katie, just go ahead and step out for me. Right. I you gotta come with me. Um you got anything on you that's gonna hurt me or anything in any way? No. Right, I'm just gonna quickly search you. Don't it's nothing to be afraid of, it's just okay. routine. Alright, I'll let you keep your phone. Alright, mm -hmm. so what's gonna happen, Katie, is I'm, we're gonna go, we're gonna head down to the hospital. You do have to be looked at by a doctor, okay? Um, and someone from um, DCS is gonna meet us there, okay? It's nothing to be afraid of, okay? It's, it's all to help you, okay? Choice, but the same, okay. No. Okay, so come with me. You get to ride up front. Hop in. Oh, hang on. Now you should be able to hop in. Buckle up, kid. What? I said, buckle up. Five thirty-five. Show me in route to Mount Zana. Alright guys, we're going to take Katie down to the hospital and I will talk to you all once we get there. Very interesting call, but I guess there's a little bit more to go. Alright guys, we're just pulling up here pretty much in Mount Zona. Um, so, yeah. You made the right decision, Katie. Hi. I really am. Might not feel like it right this second, but you did. It doesn't feel that way. Do you know this guy to the right of us? That's the DCS guy. Right, just hang out here in the car. Okay.
Hey, come over here, sir. Uh, DCS. Yeah, I... Agent Tom with the DCS. Yeah, my first question, DCS Agent Tom, is how... Why were you down at the pier? And, uh... Well, I'm... Heck, uh, out of it. But... What was that? Sorry, I'm hearing, like, ten different people come out of your mouth, sir. It's pretty interesting. No. Don't worry about that. Right. But Agent Tom with DCS. I heard... I heard about this incident that you have here with Katie. Yeah, but how did you hear about it? Because, um, we've only just rang DCS and you were down at the pier, which is interesting. I wasn't exactly down at the pier. I was in the area, yes, but I wasn't exactly down That's at the pier. That's your first lie to me, so you were at the pier. I literally walked, I literally watched you walk past the two of us. Okay. So, I mean, I was picking up papers off the pier. And papers came from the out of town, so, and I'm, I'm originally assigned to, uh, how do I this? Originally, I got assigned out to uh, the county cases that we had where people were doing heroin in that, so and like they question. would you lose their Juliana children. And, and then I had Katie. Juliana, and then I heard about Katie. So. Yeah, you still didn't answer my question though. As to why were you down at the pier in the first place? I was picking up papers to actually look into the amusement park because I was going to take some different kids to the, mus the amusement park that's right there. Alright, I'm going to need to see your full name, your driver's license and all that. Alright, uh, yeah, I'll go get that from my car. Give me a second. Hey, officer. He, he claims he's the DCS agent. He claims that he came down to the pier to get some, some um, papers for the amusement park or whatever. I don't really believe in coincidences and I don't know why he was down there in the first place. It just seems very off to me. Yeah, this, something doesn't feel right. No, he's gonna get me his driver's license. At least that's what he told me. Just, just keep an eye on her. Yeah, I will do. Alright, so here's my papers, um, here you are, All right. and here's my ID as well. All right. Alright, just stand right here, don't move. Tom Donald. Um, I wouldn't be running his name if he wasn't down at the pier already, which was just very, very weird. Just hang out here, Katie. We're just going to clear up a couple of things, okay? to make sure he see it me rings DCS do they verify you as a worker I don't know that'll do I'm just ringing DCS I don't know I don't know if I buy his story Yeah, we'll see if they can confirm. I'm currently on hold. Hi, oh, yes, Lieutenant Henry. I'm just wondering if you guys have an employee working for you. It's going to be a Tom Donald. Yeah, I can hold. I told him who I was, and then you on hold again, waiting for the next person. I know. You gotta transfer you like five times before you get somebody that actually knows what they're talking about. Hi. Yes, it's Lieutenant Henry. Yes, I... Yes, I rang. Yes. Uh-huh. He's been working for you guys for ten years. 
Oh, he worked out in the county. Okay. And he's been placed out here in the city. Mm hmm. No, that's fine. I just wanted to confirm because there's just there was a couple of little hiccups and coincidences here that we just wanted to make sure everything was, you know, okay. No, I understand. Mm hmm. No, thanks for your time. Goodbye. Apparently he worked out in the county for 10 years. He's been recently assigned to the city. Well, I guess it's good he quit checks out. Hmm, alright. Are you right to hang out with him? I'm going to take Katie inside. He can talk to her after. She needs to see a doctor and whatever else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, Katie. You can get out now. Alright, we're going to go inside, you're going to be checked out by a doctor and you'll probably have to talk to somebody and then once they give the all clear, you're going to go with the the DCS guy, okay, for a little bit. Okay. Yeah, by a little bit, you probably mean permanent. I, I can't, I can't unfortunately give you an answer, Katie. That's, it's out of my hands, that one, okay. But you've, you've got my card still, don't you? Yeah. Okay, do you want me to come inside with you? All right, let's go. All right. Oh, yeah, doc. She just needs to see a doctor and a therapist for a little bit. And then this is the DCS case worker. Yeah, we'll both wait out, wait out here. Yeah. Yeah, that's me. All right, Katie. I'll be just outside the door, okay? Yes. Let's come over here, Mr. Ronald. Donald, Ronald, I don't know. Ronald. What's he doing? I don't I don't like this guy at all. I don't trust this DCS person at all. I'm gonna I'm just gonna hospitalize her. Hey, we can hospitalize, can't we? Brandon? Yes, we what can. Is it? I've never used it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what's well, her ID? Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen. And that works mm -hmm. in the same way, doesn't it, minutes? Uh, no, I think you just use the ID and it transfers her to the hospital. That's all it does. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she's now at pillbox. Yeah, I'll tell him that she got transferred. <laughs> uh, Mr. Donald? Yes, sir? Um, they're transferring her to pillbox, um, now. Um, they're gonna, they're, the doctor's riding with them in the ambulance. They're just heading to pillbox. They got better, um, specialists over there to deal with these cases. I'm gonna be that person. Alright, uh, you still got you still oh, got weird people coming oh, through your head and mouth, sir. I don't know what's up with that. You, it's like you got split personality disorder or something. I mean, it's probably it's probably the headset that we have on, considering the fact that I do have the earpiece. So, mm. I do have I do have a worker right now on call that I'm trying to talk to and figure out what's going on here. Yeah, I'd probably get your headpiece looked at, sir. Sure I don't think I don't think we're meant to hear everyone coming through them. Yeah. I mean, you hear people coming through mine, Officer Mitchell? Probably no. not. Yeah. No, I think yours is broken, sir. No, well, yours, no. yours is also a bit more, like you know, Secret Service like, whereas mine's just like off the corner of the street, so to speak. Mm. They don't pay us to get these, so. No. All right. Well, she's down at um pillbox. Um, I gave her my card. I'll give you my card as well. If she ever needs anything, you know, reach out to me. I'm happy to help. Alrighty. Alrighty, thank you for that. I'll give you mine as well.
<laughs> oh, thank you. There you are. Sir. Thank you. Yeah, if you ever need me for any other DCS cases, just hit me up and I'll come out and try and figure out where they're going. No worries, Lieutenant Henry. 535 is my badge number. You have a good day, sir. You as well. I don't like that. I don't like that guy one bit. See? Vicious. See, he runs everywhere. He just runs. Like, who runs everywhere? In a hurry. Probably got like too many cases. Can't I'm sorry, it. dude. I, I don't like this guy at all. I, actually, he gave me his business card. I'm going to go and run his fingerprints or something. I don't know. Something's off about that guy. Yeah. Don't trust him as far as I can throw him. <laughs> I do not trust that guy at all, guys. He is weird as fuck. But, um... We're going to be 10-8 off that. Unfortunately, you know, there's a GTA, there's limitish, <laughs> limitations, there's limitations, you know, there's only so much I can roleplay. If I could have roleplayed going with her and stuff, I would have tried to stay with Katie a lot more. But, I've got the hiccups. There's not much I can do about that, so, it is what it is. Um, hopefully she'll get the help she needs, um, she'll see the specialist that she needs, you know, psychologist, therapist, whatever she needs. And hopefully she'll just get better and, you know, suicide and mental illness in, whether it's been acted or portrayed, or even if it's in real life, is a very, very serious thing. And, you know, if anybody that you do know is going through something like that, you should always try and help them and make sure that they get the, the specialised help that they need. And, you know, if you're a friend of someone going through something like that, you know, be there for them. Help them out. Show them that everything's going to be okay and just, just be a good friend. But yeah, we'll be 10-8 guys, so let's get back to it. <laughs>